Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Please subscribe. The button's down there. Can you see it? On your right. Right there. Yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? To lay down? To relax and be still and quiet? To tell yourself it's time to go to bed? Time to behave now? Time to sleep eventually? Let go of your day. Be as still as you possibly can during the story. Okay. It wasn't a good day for Vea. Vea, unfortunately, had to go to the hospital. It was the cat hospital, but it was the hospital still. And she was very, very scared. Let me tell you what happened. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were all playing in the park and they were having lots of fun. They'd been there for a while. They were going on the slides. They were going on the swings. They were going on the roundabout. They were going on the bouncy thing. The seesaw that goes up and down and up and down. They were doing all sorts of fun things in the park when somehow Vea stood on some broken glass. A broken bottle, actually. Somebody had dropped a bottle in the park of all places, a glass bottle. It had broke and they just left it there. They didn't pick it up. They didn't clean it up. What could have happened to the children or other animals that were playing in the park? Who knows? But what actually happened was bad enough. Vea got a very big piece of glass stuck in her left front paw and it was very painful. Oh, me, me not happy. Me, me, me not happy at all. Me really scared. Me don't want to go to the hospital. Me not sure about the hospital. What if, what, what, what if, what if, what if the doctor's not very nice? What if, what if they keep me in there for forever and ever? What if, oh, what, uh, will they let me wear my pin- princess pajamas in hospital? Oh, Heidi said, it's okay, Vea. Calm down. Hospitals are an okay place. They're a place where you can go and get better. And lots of times there's very nice doctors and very nice nurses that take care of you and they love their jobs and they're there because they want to help you. So I'm sure we'll do just fine. Vea was crying most of the way there in the car. Cherry had been thinking very fast when it happened and she took off her OMG t-shirt and wrapped it around Vea's front paw. She was holding her paw up in the sky to help to slow the blood down. It was bleeding a lot and Vea was extremely anxious about the blood. What? Me? Oh, me's never bleeded like this before. Me, 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 me faint. Me, me thinks... Vea all of a sudden went very faint and they had to sit her down and put her little cat head between her legs and help her breathe and take nice big deep breaths so that she got some oxygen back into her head and she didn't feel faint anymore. Poor Vea was a mess. Heidi, of course, stayed very calm and she was very supportive. The whole way to the hospital, she kept telling her that everything would be okay. Everything will be fine. I'm sure it's going to just take them taking the glass out of your paw and then maybe looking at the damage and assessing what they need to do next. And I'm sure it's all going to be just fine. Cherry, on the other hand, was freaking out a little bit. Cherry said, OMG, Vaya! OMG, I don't think I can do this! Heidi said, You can do it, Cherry. Keep yourself together. Cherry said, But I've never, eh, uh, I've never been around anyone that's got really hurt before. Well, not someone I care about like Vea. Not someone I love as much as Vea. What if, what if, what if she's right? What if she never comes home? What if this cut in a paw means that she's gonna, gonna... Heidi said, don't say it. Cherry 
Veyer is not going to die. Everything is okay. It's just a little cut in her paw. Cherry took a big deep breath and got control of herself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just getting a little bit carried away in my mind. Because you know when something starts to stress you out and you start to get worried. And then all of a sudden it snowballs, doesn't it? And before you know it, oh my goodness, it's like the end of the earth. And everything that could possibly go wrong is going to go wrong. And you're worried and you're stressed. And and, and, and you just make it ten million, billion, trillion, gazillion times worse. Because your mind is just racing and racing and racing. I was doing that. I'm really sorry. Now I've calmed down. I can talk more calmly. All right, Thea. Now, let's assess the damage. You've got your paw in the air. Check. Good. That means the blood will slow down. Check. Good. Now, you have my OMG t-shirt, which is one of my favourites, and it shows how much I love you because you bled all over it. Anyway, uh, yeah, you have one of my t-shirts. I wrapped around it very, very tightly. Check. Wrapping it around tightly will slow down the bleeding. Good. Check. Now, next thing, because you've got something wrapped around there very, very tightly, it's absorbing the blood, which will help the blood to clot. Check. Heidi said, wow, you know a lot about this. Well, yeah, of course I do. Like I said, it's never really happened to me before where someone I love gets it. Heidi said, don't get upset again. It's okay. Everything's going to be fine. She's going to be fine. Cherry said, oh, okay, 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 okay. Take a deep breath. Okay, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm, I'm calm again. Right. Now, uh, no more fainting. Because if you do, then... Uh, I might faint. No, I won't. No, I won't. No, I won't, Faya. I'm here. I'm here for you, Faya. I'm going to stay calm now, I promise. And I'm going to stay very, very focused. And I'm going to and, and I'm gonna be right there by your side the whole time in the hospital. So if they have to do stitches, Faya said, What? Me? Me don't want stitches. Me? 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 What does that mean? Heidi said, It's okay, Faya. It's okay. It's just when sometimes if you get a cut and the skin is too far open or it's too big, the cut is too big, then they need some help to close it back up so it can heal. So sometimes they do like surgical stitches and you won't be able to feel it, I promise, because they'll probably numb the area. Cherry said, yeah, they'll give you a needle. Thea said, ah, ah, what's that? Me, 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 don't want, me don't want an eagle. Heidi looked at Cherry, very disappointed because she kept saying all the wrong things that were scaring Veya. Heidi said, well, don't worry, you probably will only feel the needle for a very split second. That's what injections and needles and things like that feel. Just a very quick, quick, tiny little scratch maybe. And then it'll be all done and then everything will go numb and you won't feel a thing. I promise everything will be okay, Veya. You're going to be brave. You're going to be okay. Veya said, oh, I'm not, I'm, me not so sure. Heidi said, you're going to be just fine. They eventually got to the hospital and they got to see the doctor very quickly. The doctor looked at Veya's paw, assessed the damage. It didn't look like she needed stitches. She could get away with butterfly stitches. Veya said, me, me, no, oh, me don't want a butterfly paw. The doctor said, no, it's okay. Butterfly stitches are just a type of bandage that pull the wound together so it can heal. Oh, said Veya. The doctor cleaned the wound, he applied the butterfly stitches and then he wrapped her paw in a bandage so it would stay clean and it could heal quickly. She was all good. They could leave. Cherry said, Wow, that doctor was absolutely amazing, weren't he, Heidi? Did you see how calm he was? Like he knew exactly what he was doing and everything. He was really, really impressive. I think, you know what? When I grow up, I think I want to be a doctor because I think everybody 
anybody would respect me if I was a doctor. And I think I'm already really good at it. Don't you think I'm really good at it? Because I did all the things that the doctor said. I did awesome. I did like a paw. I wrapped a paw and, and I held it up and I and I helped the blood to clot. I did everything right. I, who would have thought that well? I knew I was fantastic and everything, but I didn't know I was that smart. Maybe I'm smart enough to be a doctor. Heidi said, I think you could do anything you want in the world, Cherry. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything you want and achieve anything that you want to achieve. Cherry liked this. She had a big smile on her face. Are you feeling better, Vaya? Uh, can I get you anything? Let's, let's, we're almost home. So let's, let's all snuggle down on our bed when we get home. And I'll get you a very, very special treat because you were so brave and you were so good. And, and, and you did really well in the hospital, even though you were super duper scared. And everybody knew you were scared. You didn't faint. You didn't cry very much. You didn't scream. You didn't panic and get angry. You just was really impressive. You were really, really good, Vaya. Vaya said, mm, thank you. Me, me would like a treat. That would be really nice, Cherry. When they got home, Cherry spent a little bit of time on her own in the kitchen preparing something, something very, very special for Vaya. Vaya was all laid up on the comfy bed. She was laying next to Heidi and they'd pulled a blanket up over her so she could snuggle in and get really comfortable and rest. Because when you've had a stressful day or you've been upset or you've been hurt, it plays a lot on your nerves. And sometimes you get very tired after the shock of everything has worn off. You just want to sleep and recover and heal and rest. Cherry walked over with a very big bowl of ice cream made from pure cream. So it was thick and rich and creamy and bright yellow like custard. It was delicious. There was enough for Heidi, Cherry and Vea. And of course, Vea shared. They ate their ice cream, talked about the day, talked about how lucky it was that a child had not got hurt, even though it was bad enough that Vea got hurt. But fancy dropping a glass bottle in a play area where people play and animals play. That's just very disrespectful to the planet. They talked about how everyone should put their garbage in the garbage bins. No one should be trashing the earth. And then eventually, they all settled down and went to sleep. Both Cherry and Heidi, with their paws wrapped around Vea, kissing on her and hugging her until everyone was so tired. It didn't take long until they were fast asleep. <laughs>